Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Hold on. Can y'all hear me? Okay, listen. I'm not going to say that I'm back. That's not what I'm saying here. But... I'm gonna, you know, shoot a few reactions here and there whenever I feel like it, you know. Because I realized well, when I was gone that I actually liked this time away from YouTube. It was a lot of drama happening, you know what I'm saying? And by all means, if drama comes my way, I'm more than welcome to receive it because it creates content and my, my brain gets to start working more and more, you know what I'm saying? The more you challenge me, the better. But at the same time, real life exists outside of YouTube, okay? And I deal with a lot in my life, <laughs> okay? So if you haven't followed me in my journey while I was away, go check it out. I uploaded 15 motherfucking videos, and if y'all missed that shit, y'all better go back and get it. I haven't been away from YouTube necessarily. I've been watching. I've been watching videos, and I realized quickly that YouTube creators have gone downhill. Like, I don't know. There's nothing really entertaining. So I've just been watching podcasts, pretty much. That's pretty much what I've been watching. But because there's no fun and not enough drama for me to react to, I'm gonna react to real life shit sometimes. So today, if y'all haven't heard about what happened in Montgomery, Alabama, that massive brawl that happened, they're calling it brawl. Let, let's make this shit clear. This was not a brawl. This was a black man being attacked by a group of white males, something that the white males created, okay? by not moving their damn boat when being asked to move because they have a whole cruise ship trying to get through. And because they didn't move, this whole thing started. And y'all really thought that this man was standing alone? Mm -mm. No, he had a whole ship <laughs> rooting him on. People that were already on the dock were watching the whole story unfold. Even a man swimming from the ship to the damn dock. That motherfucker should have won something for that, okay? A gold medal for that swim. I love to see when uh, someone of color, whether that's Latino, Asian, black, whatever, anything that's not European American, okay? When I see one in trouble and there's strangers, people you haven't even met, but are of your same color, come and defend you? These motherfuckers really thought that he was by himself. No, you start something, there's repercussions to it. There's consequences to it. And karma hits you quick. Now, let me get to this video because it's probably gonna get claimed because it is by uh, let me see. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a minute. Okay, it's been a while. Indisputable with Dr. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, by Dr. Rashad Rich Rache Rache. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I know of him and his YouTube channel. He does make a lot of videos on social injustices. If I'm gonna get claimed, I might as well support a channel that fights for his people, because all these other news outlets they're gonna claim my ass and i'd be damned if a white man takes my money okay so let's go ahead and watch this video it is titled massive brawl ignites after white boaters jump black worker okay so let's see what he's got to say because i haven't heard his commentary yet y'all ready because i am by the way gizmo's back there if y'all haven't noticed my baby boy all right let's get it part three we have done our best to bring you the facts as they happen this was in Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, a place called Riverfront, very popular. Okay, in case y'all didn't see that swimmer right there, they had to put a whole red arrow, okay, a whole red arrow, and I'm sorry if the video is a little blurry. I am in a location where it's bad reception, so I apologize, but bear with me, all right? It's worth Attraction. it. Security guard was attacked by white males, fought back, and then more. Here it is. Here we go. That guy in the white shirt and crew from our little dinner cruise boat have gone off our ship to go over there to move that black pontoon boat on his own because those guys who parked there were told not to leave it there and they left it there. Now, mind you, the brawl hasn't even started. No one even knows what's about to happen soon. But it's already causing a problem and it's causing a chaos already that these men left their boat there. They need to move. It's a simple solution. Move your fucking boat. I wonder if they were intoxicated because that's what people do when they're under that liquid courage, okay? They become rebellious, especially if you're a white person in this world. You feel entitled. You feel privileged because you are entitled and privileged in this fucking country. But guess what, though? 
There's going to be times in your life where you're going to be shut the fuck down. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm cussing a lot, but listen, I'm in my feelings, okay? Let me, let me go back to this. So he's just pushing it up. Here we go. Here we go. Get him! Hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I ain't no fighter, okay? You can tell by my moves, I ain't no fighter. But, it made me wanna fight. This is the type of shit that gets me upset. He's trying to talk it out with you. He's like, listen, you have to move the boat. You didn't hear me the first time. You didn't hear me the second time, the third or the fourth. So now I'm gonna have to be a little bit more vocal. Is this the way you wanna take this communication level? Because we're getting there. Because you're not moving the boat. So all he's saying is move. You can tell in his body language. People might find that as aggressive. It's not. Since you couldn't understand verbal, he had to do it in a way where it's visual for you. So he's like, move the boat. Move the boat now. And uh, apparently the, the owner or whoever this guy is just comes rushing him and swings first. So once, once the man swings first, the worker has the right to defend himself. People may call this a fight. This man is simply defending himself. He was attacked. Okay, so let's go back to that. From the beginning of how it started, right here. Unnecessary, unnecessary. Even caught him off guard. Okay, I know you guys, you know how I am with my rewind game, okay? Just pay attention. He was talking to the other man and he comes rushing him. Uncalled for. Here we go. Here we go. He sure did. He sure did take off that hat. He's like, oh, you want to do this for real? Okay, let's go then. Let's go. Look at him. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> the fight is kind of shitty, okay? They're just shoving each other. There's not really much going on here. Okay, but let's see what the other two are doing here. Okay, I didn't really pay attention to the other two because the first two, you know, it was entertaining. But here we go. And then this motherfucker in the red shorts just comes rushing him again. Why couldn't you let it be one on one? Why did you come and try to jump him? Neither of them were winning. It's not like your boy was down on the ground getting his ass kicked. It was unnecessary. You just came to try to have fun. That's you. You're probably drunk. Rewind time. Let's go. Look at this guy, look at this guy. And then another guy with the green shorts. Look at, look at this. Hold, oh, ooh, child. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, doctor. Not only was he attacked by the first guy, the guy in the red shorts comes in and, and pushes him to the ground. Then the guy in the dark green shorts comes in and throwing punches at him. Then this guy in the blue cap, and the blue cap, I don't know if he's about to get involved as well, but come on, four grown men versus one okay okay you see the guy in the black shirt with white shorts he comes running down trying to see what the hell's going on and this woman with the red dress on who later you know you will see women i need y'all to step back okay when men are fighting step back because you will get killed men are close to killing each other they will kill you if you're in the way one punch is all it takes so you getting hit by that chair later on down the road is what you deserved okay but let's go on look at this shit look at this shit and then this young man right here is swimming up look at this all the way all the way to the dock you better make that shit boy you better go in there go all the way Okay, and look at these young black men. Look at these black men right here. They come to defend him. Just because they didn't get there just when it was happening is because the fight was short-lived because these four men don't know how to fight. These guys were on their way already. If you're gonna fight four versus one, let's do four versus four. Come on, and now they're scared on their boat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now what, now you scared? Now you scared? What happened? 
Why are you hiding? Oh, look at the guy in the red shorts. That's what the fuck you get. Get him. Get him. Get him. That's karma at its finest. I do not condone, I do not advocate for violence. The security officer was obviously defending himself. He was attacked unprovoked. Exactly. What happened afterwards was, according to the internet, a mermaid gangster. That's what he's being called. Swam in order to even the odds, okay? At a point, it became clear that the individuals were going to remain aggressive. And that's when everybody else, well, they decided to get involved too. Let me give you the background as we have details now. All right, let's put a picture. The brawl occurred on the riverfront in Montgomery, Alabama. Montgomery, Alabama. Jason Aldean came out with a video called Small Town and it pisses me off because I like a couple of his songs. I listen to country, so it got me a little bit upset, okay? Especially after seeing the music video showing protesters of the BLM movement. You are you racist for sure. So I'm gonna stop listening to him. But you come out with a song like that and then this happens. You say things are not gonna happen in, in our small town. Why do you think we stand alone, though? Like, the, all the minorities, why do you think we stand alone? We don't. But the way you guys stick with each other, we do as well. If anything, we get together, okay? The blacks, the Hispanics, the Asians, and this worker did not stand alone. She texted me this. Um, she's an NAACP leader. That area that you're looking at was actually a slave port, ironically. Oh my gosh. It was a slave port and people not surprising because of their his of, because of the history of this country especially in the south locally are well aware of the history of that area known as riverfront it went viral on sunday night the mayor has reacted vows justice will prevail montgomery mayor stephen l reed said in a statement sunday that several people involved in the fighting saturday evening have now been detained Justice will be served. Okay, so I need to know who this mayor is. I want to know if he's a white male or a black male. So let's go ahead and check that out because I am very curious. Stephen L. Reed is his name. Guys, he is a black man and he looks young. Okay. And he is, he's got a black family, okay? He's not even married to a white woman. When he says justice will be served, I'm thinking he's gonna stand up for his people because he actually saw and witnessed and through video and through witnesses who started this attack. So, but you never know with politics, okay? It's weird. In quote, Reed indicated that the man from the riverboat was attacked and that those who committed violence against him would face justice. Quote, the Montgomery Police Department acted swiftly to detain several reckless individuals who were attacking a man who was doing his job, he said. Police told WSFA that the fight was reported um, at about 7 p.m. Saturday. Um, so it looks as... And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It might be going our way because the truth prevails. At least we tried for it to prevail when there's video of proof. If he was a white mayor, who knows where this would have gone? At least right now, the narrative is correct. The mayor is aware of the proper narrative that the individual we see clearly, the video of the security officer, was attacked. It was unprovoked. And those who have been detained should be the ones who attacked him. We do not have the official names as of yet. I do expect those names to come out this week. But once again, violence that did not have to happen perpetrated by individuals who, in my opinion, what they did what they did because they didn't like who he was more so than what he was doing. All right, Jeff Thoughts. The hat toss was the physical equivalent of black people screaming, hoo hoo, and everybody coming running. <laughs> Look, hey, some background here. On July 7th, 1911, an African, African American man named Nathaniel Alexander of Lynchburg, Virginia, patented a folding chair, a uh, folding chair. According to his patent, Nathaniel Alexander
Alexander designed his chair to be used in schools, churches, and auditoriums. Apparently, folding chair was used in this fight too, but we didn't see it in the video footage. It's all good. Um, when I saw that kid... They're not gonna show the footage of the folding chair. There was a black man who got a hold of a folding chair, hit one of the white men on the head like three times, cool, and even hit the white woman on the head as well, okay? People are debating about that because it was a man hitting a woman. I do not agree with men hitting women, period. But when there's grown men fighting, they don't think right. They don't think rationally. All they see is red and they're gonna fight. They're gonna fight. And if you were in the way, you're gonna get hit. Across the water, in order to help in that situation, I started screaming, anything is possible, like KG after he won his championship. This was the funniest day on black Twitter since the <laughs> N-word maybe from uh, Yahoo Finance a couple of years ago. This was a whole lot. I hope justice is served because as we know from American history, had nobody stepped in and helped, possibly this could have been a lynching. Yeah, and I want to remind Definitely. you of the law in Alabama, okay? You can fight somebody in self-defense, and you can engage in physical combat in the defense of others. It is in the Alabama statute. Bam. Right? And I bet you that law was written for other races and not any of ours. But we're going to use that today. Okay, so that's it, guys. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. If you look at TikTok, they have the funniest TikToks about this video. At first, it started coming out as a serious, like, actual thing, right? Okay, it's a serious, this is, this is not okay, blah, blah, blah. And then the funny TikToks start coming out, you know? They start making narratives to make it comedic. And you guys gotta go watch it. It's so hilarious. Oh, love it. But anyways, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. I know it's different from what you're used to. I'm not reacting to other YouTube videos or YouTubers. Okay, and yes, I am very well aware about Easy and Natalie breaking up. Why I'm not talking about it is because, I mean... I've talked about it many times over the last couple of years and I already knew they were not going to be lifetime. They should remain friends as they already are. They're better off as friends. That just is what it is. And I don't know if the friendship will last a long time neither because it's hard to keep a friendship like that, especially when one starts to date. But anyways, uh, you guys can uh, thank me for always seeing in between the lines and realizing what is happening and what is not because the truth always comes out later. Thank you, appreciate ya. Anyways, tell me what you thought about this video, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and go watch my 15 videos of vlogs and story times, please. They've been up. Go watch them. See y'all in the next video. Peace!